The time has come to settle the planet Venus. In Cities of Venus from Tin Robot Games, you serve as a governor with presidential aspirations. You'll be judged on your ability to tame the harsh environment and manage your floating city. With the help of an army of Venots capable of a variety of skills, you'll need to put these workers to task in the most efficient ways. In the end, the governor with the most points is the winner and earns the title of President of Venus. This is a tableau building and worker placement game for two to six players and lasts between 45 and 90 minutes. The game takes place over a series of rounds. Each round you'll be faced with a number of choices that revolve around managing your v knots workers at your disposal. Each player controls a floating city featuring multiple departments to ensure the survival, growth, and progress of the pilgrims living on Venus. Healthy living will grow your available v knots while scientists and mechanics will increase your efficiency. Miners produce valuable minerals from the land while shield engineers fight off the harsh environment. Each round you can purchase canister cards dropped from above to increase the potential production in one of these departments. Some canister cards carry points. Minerals mined can be used to purchase more V-knots or spent to cover additional canister costs. There are two different types of canister cards. They will either provide additional V-knots or slide into your floating city board in one of the city's departments to upgrade your abilities and the number of V-knots a department can hold. Players can also send v knots to the International Space Station. When eight v knots occupy your station, you're given access to special city upgrade cards that vary from game to game. The core of the game is managing your workers to upgrade your floating city to supply more v knots and earn points in the process. This is an engine builder with a charming production and fun components. I really dig the little v knots and the cool multi-layered upgradable floating city boards. They do a lot to draw you in and engage you and make the overall experience more fun. This isn't an overly complicated game. While there are some strategic turns where you need to plan to grab certain cards, moving around your V-Knots is more of a casual experience, which makes it great for families who might find something like terraforming Mars a bit too involved. The game also brings a push your luck element with the mining as you roll dice to earn resources. This creates a bit of a gambling element where you can turn resources into V-Knot miners and then turn around and use those miners to attempt to earn more resources. Turn order also plays a key role. When it comes to selecting canister cards, it's usually clear which cards hold the most value. First dibs, in this case, is obviously beneficial. Even if you can't pay immediately for the card, you can pay a small fee to reserve it for later. Each turn you have at least one event take place, and these typically nasty event cards can really alter the story of each game. You're going to lose critical V-knots, and that will alter your strategy. I really enjoyed that because it helps keep everyone in check and creates a more engaging experience. Again, this isn't an overly complicated game, but it does provide a fun engine building experience. The theme is cool, and I really love the production. In addition to the multi-layered city boards, there is a mat to hold the available cards and the Kickstarter will even have miniature mechs for the mining process. Games move pretty quickly and there really isn't a lot of downtime. Much of the actions are played simultaneously and it doesn't take long to get a feel for the game and to form a strategy. Tableau builders are typically crowd pleasers and this is a nice entry for sci-fi fans. If you're looking for a cool, accessible engine builder with some fresh components, Cities of Venus is one you should take a look at. I think it works for both gamers and their families alike. I really enjoyed the smooth process and how quickly the turns flowed. The theme was also integrated pretty well into the action. Upgrading your player board by sliding in canister cards adds a lot of flair to the game. I've enjoyed the games I've played from Tin Robot and Cities of Venus isn't an exception. If you're a fan of engine builders and you enjoy more reality-based sci-fi themes, Cities of Venus is one you should definitely check out. I'll add a link to the Kickstarter in the description. Thanks for checking out the review and be sure to visit unfilteredgamer.com for more reviews of the latest crowdfunded and direct retail games.